Hello guys, welcome to the lab. In this lab, we are going to discuss about Ansible templates. In the last lab, we have seen the roles. So now we will look into what actually Ansible templates are. So let's understand it. So before going into the actual definition, I wanted to give you a scenario so that you can better understand that what is template is and why we are using the template. To understand that, let's jump into a diagram and then we will discuss it. So in this diagram, we are seeing that we have a cluster where we have uh, three master nodes and three worker nodes. Consider that we are going to deploy a configuration file on worker node, all the worker node. So that means a single configuration file will be used for different different worker nodes. So to do that, either I can keep a separate copy and I can define three copies of uh, that configuration file for each of the worker node. So this is really a, a dread geary task. That means very painful task. We need to define the configuration file for each of the node. So we have two options for that. First option, either we can create the configuration file for each of the worker node or we need to define a template. So here templates comes into picture. In Ansible, you can use template for designing such kind of activities where we have repetition of code or repetition of block of code. So how to do that? I will show you in this lab. So if you go by definition, then template is a file within Ansible which keeps the information about configuration. But the dynamic values are given as a variable. So what it means, let's understand by example. So here, suppose that we have a template like this, where we are having a configuration in the form of JSON. And this JSON will contain the configuration name for different different worker node. So here, what we need to specify that I need to create this configuration for each of the server. So here, we have used a loop and within that we are iterating the nodes so these are the nodes we will like I will demonstrate this example to you so here we are replacing this item variable with the name of this value so that's what we are going to use the template so let's jump into the demonstration so we are going to use the same template file and we can deploy this template file and we can generate this configuration file with the help of template for each of these worker nodes. So let's get started and let's go into the terminal and get our hands dirty. So let's jump. So now what we will do, we will create a directory called Ansible template example. First, we need to define a variable for that. So we can create a dictionary to do that we need to create a directory called mkdir group vars which I have told you so and we will create that and within that we will create a file called all so that we will keep the dictionary so to do that this is the first step we are going to do so now nano group vars underscore vars all and this will contain a dictionary. We can give it a KHS worker1 and we will keep the same name. And here worker1 would be fine and here we can give the worker2. Now exit from here. Once it is being done, now what we have to do, we create a file called templates demo demo dot dot yaml and within that we will create a host we are going to run this on local host so we don't need ini file so here local host we are going to run on this and we can have for uh, roles we are going to create this role and the role's name is we can take it as template demo now exit from here now next i need to create the roles to do that mkdir roles and here we need to define 
the name templates demo which we have defined there which is called task dot task we fold this folder we need to create and to do that we need to specify hyphen p if it will not exist it will create that and once it is being done now we will first we will create that nano and here main dot yaml yeah so i will grab the code i have already written so that we can save time let me grab the code first and then i will explain you i have grabbed the code now i will paste it so here we are defining a task and we are telling that suppose that we are generating this thing for kubelet we can use it in the upcoming we will use it into part 3 actually and so we will use this template as well there so just consider that this is the configuration file for one of the component of kubernetes for a time being now so here we are going to create a template which i have showed you if you remember i had showed you this template we are going to create in a template location of that task so now and what we are doing here we are using this template and we are generating the file configuration file for each of the respective server which we are iterating within this loop so now what we need to do we need to save it yes and then afterward we will create the template folder to do that we need to write mkdir roles templates demo here templates and here we need to mention uh, it was mentioned k templates dot j2 so one more thing i wanted to point it out that this is a jinja template as ansible supports jinja template engine if you want to know about uh, jinja template you can uh, get this information on jinja.poco.org site so you will get all those details about jinja template so for a time being just consider that jinja template is the engine behind the ansible templates so now first we need to create this folder structure and once after creation we need to create the file to do that i know and within that here we need to specify k templates dot j2 now i will grab the code and paste it over here now i grab the code now i will paste it so this is the code the same code which i have showed you now here you can see that we are iterating those worker nodes so let's jump into that and we will run it now first we will save it yes we want to save it now we will run it to run it clear now write ansible write in playbook ansible template exam and here we need to write template demo now run it so now it is running now it is checking the facts now it has started executing the defined task deploy kubelet json which we have defined so now see here it is generating those configurations for each of the individual server now we will look into the temp folder now if we will look into temp folder then we will find that this is get generated now if you look into this file so it will look like cat temp kts worker one dot json so see here it has generated for kts worker one if we will look into two then it is for worker two and same for 
worker 3. So we are concluding it with that template can be used for configuration with dynamic variable. So wherever we want to repetition of configuration file generation, we will use templates. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate in this lab. See you in the next lab. Till then, bye bye.